Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com, new media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. 14,000 members. That's right. 14,000 members and growing every day. 1,500 member companies, 170 plus events every year, like the Georgia Technology Summit, the Excalibur Awards, the Business Launch Competition, and more, much more. The community and fellowship events, like the Taggett Golf Tournament Challenge or the Techie 10K. The 30 societies focusing on nearly every vertical sector across the technology industry, the Southeastern Software Association, Women in Technology, the Education Collaborative, FinTech, Health IT, Tech America, and on and on and on. Greetings, everyone. It's Tuesday, October 18, 2011, just four days out and counting, till the 7th Annual Excalibur Awards. A cannot-miss event for technology leaders as well as corporate and academic top executives and VIPs that are leading the technology innovation in our state as well as the global economy. This is a special insider report as this edition of Tech Talk speaks with Melanie Brandt, Technology Association of Georgia Chief Operating Officer and driving force in a spectrum of new initiatives from economic gardening to where Georgia leads and beyond. I'm your guest host, Frank Baia. Active member of TAG or wondering just how to get involved with one of the hottest, fastest growing, most active technology industry associations in the country? The Tech Talk will do more than inform. It will validate what state and industry leaders are already confirming. To educate, to promote, to unite Georgia's technology community, there's only one premier organization. To build, to connect, to enable people, company, and community you need to get connected and stay connected. It's a Tech Talk all about what's going on at TAG right now and in the upcoming months as we go inside the association and speak with the Technology Association of Georgia's Chief Operating Officer, Melanie Brandt. Melanie, welcome to Tech Talk. Thanks, Frank. Well, a lot of exciting things going on at TAG, a lot of events and activities, um, expansion over at the offices at headquarters. Um, let's talk a little bit about, uh, I think, something that's near and dear to your heart, and that's the Where Georgia Leads campaign. Well, sure. Uh, the Where Georgia Leads campaign is definitely uh, one of the things that I'm the most excited about at TAG. I think it is one of the, the more significant things that we have done as an organization in terms of moving the needle for Georgia. Um, we felt like there was a tremendous amount of opportunity to promote the great technology sectors that are thriving in Georgia and all of the great companies that are contributing to our economic success. Um, you hear a lot of negative stories, but there are some really positive things that are going on in Georgia in the world of technology. So we started by identifying the sectors where we are the strongest, and certainly health IT leads the pack mm -hmm. on that, as well as fintech, information security, communication services, and then also logistics. Mm -hmm. So we started by um, quantifying all of those industries, and we created the Where Georgia Leads logo maps, which you can see on wheregeorgialeads.com. And um, then we've supplemented that campaign with billboards. So if you've been driving up 75 North, you might have seen some billboards talking about all of the technology jobs that are in Georgia right, right now, over a quarter of a million. Um, and then something that's really exciting is the airport. Um, everybody knows that, that Hartsville-Jackson is, is one of the busiest airports, if not the busiest airport, and yet there really isn't a whole lot of information at the airport promoting technology 
strategy in Georgia. So for the first time that we are aware of, there are now um, signs in the airport. The first well. one um, is on logistics, the logistics industry, and Manhattan Associates helped us with that. But um, So, yeah, a lot of exciting things going on with the Where Georgia Leads campaign. Well, take a moment and, and let's talk a little bit about the maps. Uh, again, you mentioned wheregeorgialeads.com. Or, yes, or uh, dot com, where Georgia leads dot com, because I think one of the things about those maps that's so uh, impactful is that in the uh, with single glance you see a cluster of all of these logos, and you really not only are we talking outside of the state of Georgia, I think we're talking to ourselves because in some cases you take a look at those maps and you go, hey, we really do have a health um, IT community, we really have a fintech community, don't you agree? Absolutely. You, you you cannot look at those maps and deny that we are strong in these clusters. Sometimes the science with the, the codes that you have to pull that, that um, give you specific information about the sectors are a little bit slow to update. Mm -hmm. Health IT, for example, isn't a specific sector, but um, – when we looked at it a little bit more artistically and just started, you know, using the brain power that we have here at TAG through our board of directors and our premier member companies and all of the great society events that are going on, and we just started pulling the companies, again, you know, you, you, you look at the maps, you can't deny that, that there's um, an incredible amount of, of uh, technology excellence that's going on here. A lot the of the other... depth of data and information is great, and obviously nobody's disputing that, but again, just that simple graphic impact yeah. seems to really tell a story, you know? Yeah. Well, the other thing I like about it, too, is that we're promoting the companies themselves. Mm -hmm. This is this is not about TAG and how great we are. This is about these industries and how great the companies that make up the industries are. And so we've heard stories about how the companies on the maps are using them to promote themselves, and there's opportunities to do that. And then also they're using them for talent recruitment because mm -hmm. it's a really exciting and, and, again, undeniable way of telling somebody that you're trying to recruit from another state that Georgia is really strong in this area and that it's worth the investment moving to Georgia. Brilliant. That's great. We've had great results with it. We're really excited. Well, let's talk you know, a little bit deeper as far as economic development. Uh, one of the things I know that you guys have been involved in now, I guess a couple of – well, actually, it's been a final first year, and that's the Savannah Project. Tell us what's going on after the first year in Savannah. Sure. Well, um, a little bit over a year ago, TAG received an EDA grant, um, and it was for $100,000, and it's a one-to-one -one match. So we also invested $100,000 through our partners, um, the Savannah Economic Development Authority and Georgia Tech has been wonderful. And we brought this resource, this, this money, to Savannah and have been using it to help entrepreneurs there. So they have to be companies that have the potential to scale or, or sell outside the, the local community. And um, for qualifying companies, we have provided them with free services. And the services include a competitive analysis, a market analysis, and then also talent assessment and some strategic planning. Mm. Um, the reason is, you know, companies, are, entrepreneurs and, and small businesses, they're so passionate about their products, and they can usually talk really, really well about their products. What we hear from potential investors is that companies maybe aren't as clear about their market space or their competitors, and that's something that's going to be really important to investors as they consider whether or not to invest in companies. And then also it's just great to help these companies grow and scale faster. Um, so it's called economic gardening is the specific methodology, and we helped 26 companies last year in Savannah with economic gardening. Wow. Well, uh, obviously I think also that's sort of the uh, – first stake in the ground as far as a statewide expansion is concerned. You know, so many years we've talked about the Technology Association of Georgia and the outreach being beyond uh, the uh, Atlanta metropolitan area, and obviously that's beginning, has been happening for quite a long time, but now we're really getting serious as far as uh, the future is concerned. Give us a, an idea about the goal for the future as far as statewide expansion is concerned. Sure. Well, TAG does, I think we counted, at last count it was like 170 events a year, but as you, you know, as everybody knows, those are primarily in metro Atlanta. So we've given a lot of thought to what a, um, a TAG membership or a TAG presence outside of Metro Atlanta can offer somebody in terms of value. And, you know, we've been doing weekly webinars. We've got tremendous amount of white paper content now on our websites. Um, we have the capability of, of streaming or videoing our society events and making 
making those available. Tag TV obviously has got a tremendous amount of content. So there's just, um, we, I feel like we've sort of reached the tipping point in being able to impact companies or individuals that maybe can't go to the majority of those 170 events, but can still find value from the Technology Association of Georgia. So starting with Savannah, because we felt like they had a, a great critical mass of technology and technology-enabled companies, we've really been establishing a presence, leading with the Economic Gardening Campaign. Um, certainly coming to town with, with money and resources has been helpful in, in making sure that, that the community has been welcoming, and, and we've had great success with that. Um, but we are also, the, the vision is, obviously we're going to stay in Savannah and continue the Economic Gardening Program there, and then we're implementing some things like CIO Round tables. We're going to have an awards event um, in fall of 2012 that, it, that I can't talk about more than that, but we're really excited about it. Um, so we're going to continue our presence and continue to grow our presence in Savannah, but we're also talking about doing some economic gardening projects in Augusta and the Macon Warner Robins area. Um, we've been working really closely with the Rome Chamber, and we're, we're in the process of developing an MOU with them so that they'll promote some of our stuff and we'll promote some of their stuff and um, just basically going to all of these different communities and, and learning what we can do for them. It's not a, a one-size-fits-all thing. And then um, coming up with sort of a targeted value proposition to them and with partners, um, we expect to be in – three markets by the end of 2012, and by the end of 2013, we'd like to be in at least six mid-markets throughout Georgia. So it's an ambitious time frame, um, but we've been working on the strategy for a while. We've planted some great seeds, and I really think we're going to get there. Exciting. Very exciting. And, and it just continues on and on. Next thing we've got to talk about is the society activities. I, I can't think of a day in the week that it doesn't seem like some a meeting is going on and the content is so great. Go into a little bit about the societies and about some of their activities. Sure. Well, we're really proud of the society activity. It's it's you know TAG is an umbrella organization. The societies are really the the um, the bread and butter of what we do on a regular basis because they make up the events, they make up the contents. It's the real value to the members on a daily basis, as you've said. Um, we are up to 30 societies, which we're really proud of. Um, all of them are doing really, really well. We are, um, a couple of them specifically have implemented signature events. So we've got the Health Summit that's coming up in November. We've got the FinTech Symposium that's also coming up in November. And in 2012, we're encouraging all of the societies to incorporate a signature event, either a you know state of the industry type event or a, or a um, an awards program, some sort of recognition. But um, they're very excited about that. In January of 2012, we're going to have the Society Showcase. So this is where companies and individuals can come and all of the societies, all 30 societies will have tables out with marketing materials. Their leadership will be there and people can go and talk to the different societies and sort of plan their year, figure out what makes sense for them to focus on in 2012. So you'll be able to learn a lot more about the societies at that event. But um, as you said, just a tremendous amount of activity. They're, they're all growing, doing really well. Um, we've, been, we've been working with them on an individual basis where we can and um, there's just some exciting things going on in the society level. Well, I think certainly the message from TAG in it now is not just letting things happen but making them happen. I mean, it isn't something brand new, but certainly this year has been probably the most aggressive that I've ever experienced over a good 10 years of being involved with TAG. Let's talk a little bit. You mentioned events. Uh, there's some premier ones that are coming up in the next few months. I know Excalibur, the Spirit of Endeavor, Tech Marketing Awards. You mentioned the Health Summit and the FinTech Symposium. Talk a little bit about the Excalibur and maybe the uh, Spirit of Endeavor. Sure. Well, the Excalibur Awards is where we recognize companies that are using technology to gain a competitive advantage. So at the Georgia Technology Summit in March and the spring, we always recognize the companies that are creating innovative technology, and, and that's a really exciting event. In the fall, TAG recognizes companies that are using technology to be competitive in their marketplace. And so you'll hear from companies um, last year, I, I think, uh, now I'm not going to remember any of the, I know McCasson was one of the winners, but you'll hear from companies specifically 
specifically about what they're doing to use technology um, to be competitive in their area. And it's sort of uh, a great culmination of all of the stuff that we talk about throughout the year. Um, we have Jeff Sprecher speaking. He is the founder, chairman, and CEO of Intercontinental Exchange, which is a huge, successful company here in Georgia, right. so we're excited about that. Well, and and I think he's it's kind of rare to get an opportunity to hear directly from him, and they're involved on not just a uh, national basis. I'm pretty sure they're involved, obviously, on a global basis as far as uh, their operations are concerned. And the event itself is probably, if not the biggest, certainly one of the larger events, certainly the Georgia Technology Summit attracts um, several hundred, if not over a 1,000 people. Excalibur can go into five, six, seven hundred people. Plus, as you mentioned, um, five categories of competition brings out opportunities for small, medium, and large, as well as creative and academic. Um, a lot of interesting and exciting people who are not necessarily technology people. These are companies that use technology. It's a real good opportunity, I think, for our members to uh, get an opportunity to experience a different kind of network with a whole different and, and unique group of uh, potential friends and prospects. So Excalibur, I think, in itself is a is a really good opportunity. And again, the date on that is no, uh, it's uh, October. It's coming up this month. It's October 21st. October 21st. Okay. So uh, next up, uh, Spirit of Endeavor. Um, uh, once again, this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is a, a joint situation that we do at Tech America. Is that correct? That's right. TAG holds the um, the charter for the Tech America Georgia location, and so this is a great event that we do with Tech America. Um, it's recognizing excellence in, in particular categories, outstanding leadership, emerging technology business, technology entrepreneur, technology innovation, and then my favorite, which is the Cool Technology mm -hmm. Award. Mm -hmm. So that, that happens December 9th. And again, it's it's. I think we're up to really four or five premier events throughout the year that that tag as the umbrella organization puts on. Spirit of Endeavor certainly qualifies for that. It's going to be a great a great event this year. Well, unfortunately, we're we're running out of time. But gosh, with so many things, and there's still more to talk about. Probably the best thing I think you might want to do is go through some of the places where I can get more information. What if I'm a member? Obviously, I'm probably aware of them. But if any of our listening audience who are not members or or potential members, tell us a little bit about uh, Tag Think and Tag uh, dot org and and some of the locations where I might go to find out more about some of the events and also find out more about Tag. Yep. Well, tagonline.org is always going to be the, the, the home website. So um, we've got a tremendous amount of information on that site. You can certainly go to the calendar of events. You can look at the different societies. You can get to the tag job board from there. So that's sort of our, our home base. Um, tag Think is where we position information from the community. So some of us remember when uh, you could go to Tech Links and read all of the different press releases on things that were going on in Georgia, and we've all missed that as a resource. Well, Tag Think now is a place where companies, and you don't have to be a tag member or anything like that, any press release you want that's relevant to Georgia, you can just upload directly onto the Tag Think website. So there's a lot of information there. We also we also have community blog posts, and that's where the societies will post the presentations from their events. So it's where the society information sort of lives on. And then I mentioned also um, the Where Georgia Leads website, which has a, a tremendous amount of information and those great Where Georgia Leads industry maps. Obviously, Tag TV's got a lot of great video and other content as well. So a lot of, a lot of different places where you can go and get information. A lot, a lot like going that. on, a lot of places to make contact. Melanie, I, I, the only thing from the outside looking in is an amazing uh, short period of time, probably longer than I can remember. It's been now how long? A couple of years have you been with TAG? Oh, well, I'm called a boomerang. So I was with TAG for two years, and then I left and went to um, Gwinnett doing economic development for them for two years, but I've been back here as chief operating officer for two years, two years in December. I'll tell you that that uh, it's been um, nothing but a whirlwind of activity, a lot of, a lot of great uh new startup ideas and, and, and initiatives, and every one of them are gaining traction with each passing month, each passing year. I think any of our members all say the same thing. Anybody that talks about you, and I know you don't bring it up very much and probably don't want to hear it, but hats off to we're doing a really, really great job. Tag's doing a great job. Tino certainly is, but certainly uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, recognition to you for all the great work that you're doing at Tag. And thank oh, you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us on Tech Talk. Sure. Thank you for, for having me.